this one is called Tell Me What's Next. You saw that? Well, yeah, Edmund Perry attacked me, so I had to do it out of self-defense. Fact, such events are in commonplace in Harlem, especially among young black males, one in ten of whom statistics say will meet or cause an unnatural end. They are also likely to enjoy beats and Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, uh, could you get me some, um, uh, um, yeah, never mind. Meeting in the conference room in four, three, two, one. I know it was one of you who killed Edmund Perry. Now, I ask God this. Just why? Why? This is the topic of our conference today. Okay, now will someone like to tell me who did this? Michael, no one would kill Edmund. He was one of our best salesmen around. It was obviously one of those white cops. They're always looking around to find and kill black people. He was going to make his way out. He was a good kid. Well, thank you for sharing, but this is, you know, the question that we have to ask now, okay? There are three questions, okay? Now, who would want to kill Edmund Perry? And second, why would they want to kill Edmund Perry? And three, who would want to kill Edmund Perry? You just Perry? repeated yourself, Michael. Okay, Dwight, I'm just, that it's because it's an important point, okay? We need to get to the bottom of this. Michael, we know Lee did it. Everybody knows this. Now, to the lab! Really? Single file, black people. Now, I only believe that there is no back of the bus. 
okay? Just the bus, and you are in it, and equal to me, okay? Whether it's, you know, office workers or the warehouse, we are all equal. White collar, blue collar, I am colorblind. Yes. White chair of a cop shooting an unarmed black boy, and they say, oh, it wasn't you. But everybody knows it was true because they all get the same reaction. They shot him because they th thought that he wasn't important. Wait, uh, just a second. Um, you know every white person isn't like that. I mean, you know, we, we, you don't even know if the cop did it yet, for sure. You know, like, you don't even know if it was like a cop at all. That's just, just saying. Michael, we all know Lee did it. Tell me all you know about Edmund Perry. Right now, go, go, go. You're going to hesitate, but then I'm going to think you're the murderer. I, I wouldn't kill my own brother. I mean, I wasn't, no matter what they say, I was not there at the scene of the crime. I wasn't there at the scene of the crime. I, I wouldn't kill my brother. He was smart. He was going places. I'm smart. We went to different private schools, but I still respected him. I mean, he was my kin. Just like, can't even like believe this, Michael. Like, okay, this is like totally like that scene from Twilight when they kill the black vampire, Laurent. Like, they could have just killed Lo like, like Rosalie. Come on, she has all the attention and she totally has split ends. They should just kill Rosalie. Um, I don't understand what this has to do with anything. Um, but I don't think you're guilty. Cool. Now who did it? To the lab! <laughs> Jim, lay down. Why? Just do it, Jim. Look at, look at all these clues. The office workers, the talking heads, and how the body is just placed oh so conveniently. Lee did it. Yeah, Lee, Lee did it. We know. Okay. All right, Jim, you can, can get up now. Um, right, good having you guys here. No problem. Well, in the end, I guess it was just Edmund really getting caught up into all the labels that he had. Exeter, Harlem, the drug dealer, and the star kid. It was a lot. And I guess the whole drug thing at the end just got him shot. Real conflict. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. And all the racism that he was wrapped up in, too. Yeah, agreed. All institutional. We sure let it get to him, though. Yeah, it was really too bad. He was such a great guy. Conspiracy, I'm going to solve it.